see rivalry and how does it change now that you guys have won a couple? I just know uh, for the most part where I'm from, Orange runs it uh, coming here. You know, it was nice to get a little bit of a, of a change in that, but still, uh, I think we all know that uh, Vandy's a small school. We're a small minority, but we're proud to be Vanderbilt. And uh, winning the last few couple has definitely been a boost, a boost for the Vandy fans and for the university and program in general. Kyle has had a couple of his better games against UT. Any common denominator you can see in those when he played so well? Uh, I'm not really too sure. Maybe it's just the end of the season. Things are coming together, but he hopefully better do it again. <laughs> yeah, you too. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle, any, any thoughts when you look back at those? Anything in the game plan or how it, how it came out that made you play well in those? You know, I don't think it's because it was UT or anything. I think it was just towards the end of the year. I think um, as you grow uh, cohesive with, as an offense, um, and get experience with guys. I think things start to come together, and uh, you know, I mean, it's a new year though. Uh, that was last year, and, and we're independent from that. So I don't, you know, I don't think that's you know the reason it was UT or anything like that. So um, I think it's a new year, and uh, we got a new challenge at him. They have different personnel, different coaches, obviously. Do you, how different are they on film from a year ago? Um, you know, I try not to compare it to last year. Um, we always talk about taking things one step at a time and trying to go one and oh. And, uh, you know, I've just taken a look at what they have this year, and uh, they do a good job on defense. And uh, they play hard, uh, they play fast and physical, and it's going to be a good test for us. For both of you guys, how do you think both sides look at this rivalry? You know, how do you guys look at it, and how do you think they look? I mean, I got a few friends at Eugene. I think I think when you get down to it, like there's a lot of talk up to the game, but when it gets to it, the players, it's just another game. And really, there's no game where there's more of this, more of that. It, it really does come down to when you step on the football field. If one game means more to you than another, then you're I don't, you'd have to question something as a competitor. I know the talk is uh, a little more as it goes to it, but in the end, it's just a football game. We gotta win it. Yeah, yeah I mean, I hit, he hit it right on the head. If you treat one game more important than the other, then I think you're cheating yourself as a competitor. Um, sure, there's a lot of talk going into it about how you know it's an in-state rivalry and whatever. But when you set uh, step foot of in between the white lines, I mean, it's football, and uh, you got to do your job, and that's no different than any other game. Does it feel different when you win this game, though? I mean, once you get done with the game, is there, is there you know a difference what? there? I'd probably be lying if I said no. So I'll just say that about it. All of us know the last time that Vandy beat UT three times in a row. Do you guys know? Sometime in the 20s. I don't really care. <laughs> it's go. independent of this year, right? Exactly. There you go. Kyle, do you allow yourself to sit back and think this is your last time in this stadium on Saturday? You know, um, I'll deal with that after the game. Right now, I'm treating this just like any other week. Uh, prepare hard, go out and play hard uh, with my teammates, just like every other week. Um, you know, we can sit back, rub elbows, talk about how it's our last game, whatever. But you know, as of right now, I'm treating it just like every other game, and uh, you know, it's going to be a fun one. What do you what think? Does it mean to get the reward of a bowl game? I mean a whole lot. I mean another another month with my brothers, play the game of love with best room, best room in the country. I think so. Bruno, you've kind of you blocked for Kyle for the last few years now. Do you kind of take a step back and look at just the body of work he's been able to put in? And do you, do you find yourself thinking about what his legacy might be at Vanderbilt and just in a, in a long line of quarterbacks that have come through here? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 cool for me to see and help help in that progress. Be, be a little piece of that, you know, him stepping up to these records and stuff like that. Because we were both guys that came in just trying to find our way out. He's probably a little more prepared than I was when we both stepped on the field, but. I mean, it's been it's been great to just work together, build together, and eventually now we're at the end of it all, and we can kind of see where it's where it's what's headed. Kyle, we're kind of focused on what you're going to do in this game, but how important is the run game to, to having a chance to win in this one? I think it's all about winning, um, one way or another. However, if we win two to nothing, or fifty six nothing, or fifty six to fifty five, it doesn't matter. Uh, we just need to get a win. Um, however that looks, um, that's the main goal. Kyle, same question for you on the bowl game. What's, what's the significance of that? You guys can get it done. Uh, I mean, you know, 
getting to a bowl game would mean winning this week. And I mean, our full focus is on winning this week. So if we take care of business, I mean, obviously that would be huge. But um, you know, I don't think we're worried too much about that. We're worried about UT right now and preparing for this game. One or two more questions. Right now in the SEC, uh, may not have any coaching changeover. Uh, with what Derek has done with this program, uh, how good a footing is is he maybe and this program as you all are getting ready to, to leave this university? Yeah, I mean, Coach Mason's been consistent since day one with his message, and I think we've all grown. And, uh, you know, he's really, you know, he's a great coach, and I think he's going to be here for a long time. Kyle, how proud of you of that stash you got there? <laughs> yeah, I mean, everybody for UT Week the past few years has, you know, done a you know, fancy facial hair thing, and I'm finally old enough to actually get some. So I had to participate this year. How long did it take you to grow that? All of November. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, thank you very much.